All right, so I'm from the math easy solution here and discuss further into derivative as a function and look at example four of the video series that you've basically basically seen the video links below on the previous videos on the series. But anyways, we're gonna go over this example and it states find the derivative of f using the definition of derivative and and this is the, the function we're given f x equals one minus x all divided by two plus x. Now, uh, before I get to uh, the getting the derivative, just recall that the definition of derivative is just equal to f prime of x equals to limit. Now, limit as h approaches zero of f x plus h all and then minus f x all divided by h right here. And then basically to get the derivative using that definition we just use now this f of x. So for every x, we just pl plug in x plus h in this part, and this one we just put in as it is. So what I mean by that is uh, this would equal to limit as h approaches zero of now one minus, well, x plus h, and then all divided by two plus x plus h, and then minus one minus x, all divided by this is two plus x. So this is just fx this is fx plus h and all divided by h right here. And now uh, to basically we have to simplify this so we can basically plug in uh, h equals to zero. We can't just plug in zero right now because we're going to be dividing by zero, which is undefined. So to, we have to rearrange this in a good way is actually by multiplying the top. Yeah, basically multiply the top and bottom by a common denominator, and in this case. In this case, we can multiply this right side by basically 2 plus x plus h, which is this part right here, and then the left side by just 2 plus x right here. So we'll have this, uh, we can have this bottom as a common denominator by multiplying this side by that, and then this one by, well, 2 plus x, and then all divided by 2 plus x right here, so that we have a common denominator and then we can add them up right now. So this equals to limit as h approaches zero. If we just write that down right into two plus x, it's gonna be one minus, we just simplify this, one minus x, minus h, then minus, yeah, minus is one minus x, put in a bracket times by two plus x plus h, and now we have the common denominator, which was this, but we also have it divided by h right here, so we can just plug that in into it here, so we'll have this bottom right here, and now if we FOIL out all of these terms, and by FOILing, you see the FOIL method, proof for that in the video link below, basically we multiply this by this, then add it to this, and then add it to uh, this one here, and we do the same for the x side, so the top part would equal to, yeah, well we'll have limit as h approaches zero of now this two minus this two x, which is two times x, then minus two h, and now we just do the same thing but for this x side right here. So plus x and minus x times x, which is x squared. Then, mi then minus, uh, well plus x times negative h, which is gonna be negative hx. Now we do the same thing for this side right here, multiply this by this, and then uh, this by this by this, add it up, and then one plus, uh, one times h, add it up to the rest. And again, we're gonna have, uh, this is gonna be two, so we have minus, actually yeah, well, before I get to that, let's just put a negative right here, and this is gonna be two, this is gonna be one times x this is plus x, and then h plus h, and now we'll have the same thing but with this side right here, and this is x. So we're gonna have now negative, negative two x minus x squared, and then negative x h, this is getting a little messy right here, but now all divided by once again, you know, once again, this uh, the common denominator. And now basically if you just uh, rearrange these out or basically just cancel like terms, but before I get to that, I just wanna simplify this further. So it's just a lot of algebra right here. So if we simplify it, you're gonna get limited h put to zero. Yeah, so we'll have this part right here and then up to this bracket right here, if we just put the negative, or take the bracket out by putting the negative times by everything inside, negative two, negative x, negative h, negative, or now it's gonna be plus two x, and then we'll have a minus, oh, well it's gonna be plus actually, plus x squared, because a negative times a negative is positive, and then plus x h right here, and then this is all divided by, yeah, this common denominator. So now if we just uh, cancel out everything, uh, all the like terms and etc. Yeah, we'll get, basically when we look at this two, there's a plus two, there's a negative two, so this cancels out, 
Now if we look at the negative 2x right here, there's a plus 2x, so that cancels out. If you look at this negative 2h, yeah, there's no other h besides this one, but that's negative as well. So we're going to have actually put these ones right here. We're going to have a negative 3h left. So now if we look at this plus x, and now there's also another, yeah, there's a minus x right here. So this cancels. Look at the negative x squared. There's a positive x squared, so this cancels negative hx and now if we look at there's a positive hx here so all the underlying stuff is all the stuff that's cancelled so everything's cancelled but this so all we're left with now is limit yeah limit as h prod to zero of now negative 3h divided by h uh, then times 2 plus x times 2 plus x plus h and now these h's cancel out and we're going to be left with you know we're left with now this negative 3 and it's negative 3 all divided by this 2 plus x times 2 plus x plus 8. And now we can basically plug in the 0. Now it's not going to be dividing by 0. So if we plug in the 0, we're just going to have, well, this part's going to be a 0. And then we're just going to have equals to negative 3, 2 plus x, well, squared now. Because we're going to have 2 plus x times 2 plus x plus 0. That's just 2 plus x squared. And this is our answer right here. So it's negative 3 divided by 2 plus x squared. And this equals to f prime of x and you could double check this but this is the right answer well anyways that's all i wanted to cover in uh, today's video and hopefully you learned and remember you can always download these exact notes in the dropbox link below so stay tuned for another math easy solution